Right, hello everybody, my name's Steve Ritchie, I'm a steel sculptor from Ashford in Kent. This is one of four films, Judy's installation. So I needed to get the uh, dragon down there somehow. Uh, I normally courier uh, things to site and then drive down in the camper and make a weekend of it, weekend away. But uh, this was a little one and I didn't think anyone would mind if I transported it down. We are having a weekend away. So here we go. Uh, this is Judy's, as you know, you saw it being painted recently and uh, it just slides in that old camper which I've recently repaired um, and it's now all groovy roadworthy. The drive down to Somerset was absolutely fantastic and we parked on an area where it was like an enclosed, oh, I don't know what you'd call it really, um, yeah just an enclosed area that they planned to be a, a donkey sanctuary, it's already a bit of a, can, a cat sanctuary, um, to sound like Mike put the details for that but anyway here we are uh, installing this thing was easy really um, I had a support peg which I left on it and I let everything uh, all the weight of it just drove that into the ground just in the right place and uh, the dragon balanced very nicely um, yeah decided to use a number of methods and uh, so lots of drilling holes uh, some of these things were thunderbolts and some were drilled out to take a two-pack compound that will either leave me with a metal bar coming out or a, a little bit of studding that I can weld to the end to. Now in the dragon itself there's little pegs that will go up into the wings up into the tail and they're grub screwed in so you could actually take this thing off without too much difficulty but I plan to put it on once and for it to hang on there. Uh, keep it in mind this is going to take gale force winds so we can't miss about. I'm still on the support post at the moment but it just worked out brilliantly really. Uh, there was even a little scallop for the tail to sit in. It, it was facing straight down across the um, um, a garden looking towards the gate so you might not understand what you're looking at until you get up close and then you get all these wonderful shadows being thrown all over the rock by the dragon as well which is rather good and of course you uh, sometimes bump your head ah and uh yeah that hurt a oh, haul oh. anyway um yeah so here i am I'm, I'm quite happy i've got enough pins i've got enough supports and so on what i'm planning to do is weld all them pins and supports and what I quite like the idea is, is for it to be a little bit of flex in the wind, uh, in the wings, so they sort of bounce about in the wind a little bit. That's okay. Don't want the body to move too much. So I think I ended up with six places of support, something like that. And a little after event, they wanted a plaque as well, so I, I made and posted something to them the other day. Um, looks like this job might blossom into other jobs as well. Absolutely wonderful couple, fantastic property. Um, could have done this in a day really if I was hurrying, but I wasn't hurrying. I was having a weekend away, so we sort of dragged our heels a bit on this. Uh, the weather was absolutely superb, and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Now, here goes the support. Now, if I cut through that bar and that whole dragon sort of falls on my head I haven't done my job properly so what I've done is I've undermined it one side and I'm just gonna nip the last bit off this side and you see whether this sculpture moves or not because um, ping there you are it's that much difference so it's held up very nicely now later in the day I actually oh by the way I shouldn't have kicked this out so roughly I was oh ah oh no I made everything move there, which I should have done. I should have been a little bit more careful there. But anyway, so I get these base posts out. <clears throat> uh, at a later date, I actually sit on the head of the dragon to see whether it could support me. And it could very comfortably. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Judy's Dragon has been a dream. It's been a really interesting project. It, uh, trying to do something off-site. I didn't know the rock. Um, it's been buried a little bit more, the rock. Uh, it was a bit more exposed when I saw the original pictures. But they are planning to landscape around this, uh, Judy and Terry. So hopefully there's a tip of a wing. The right hand side there, that wing tip there would catch your eye. But they're planning to move the wall. And hopefully unbury the, unbury the, the rock a little bit. But there you are, glorious job. Absolutely glorious day. And I'll try to attack it from a number of angles and, and get as many pictures out of it as I could. And of course, there's a skip company there, got some free advertising. Thank you very much. I am not supporting that company in any shape or form, but I understand they do a very nice skip. So, there you are, Judy's Dragon. Can't get better than that as a job. The, the, the build was interesting. 
the uh, a little exhausted at times. Um, has a quite a long body. It's not massive, massive this dragon, but um, the head went together really successfully. And I always thought the wings looked cool from the moment I attacked them. So um, it's going to be called a Barney, and I've made a plaque up to say as, say as much, and the fact that I made the thing. A little bit of an afterthought, but I posted this on later. I only, uh, I didn't galvanise this thing. This has only been um, etched primed and um, painted black. So it may go rusty in the, in the course of time, but we'll see. <clears throat> but there you are. Thank you, Judy and Terry. That was a, a fantastic job. Um, I really enjoyed myself. Dragons, I, I haven't got any more dragons for a little while. Um... I've got a set of three coming up, oriental style, and possibly a head and a small body coming out of the grass. So there are other dragons afoot, but uh, um, I'm going to do a little bit of work on Boris's. I had lots of requests for Boris's when I was first seen on television last year, and this is the first chance I've had to attack them. So look out for Boris's, why don't you? So, uh, if I had to do another dragon again leaping off a rock, I'd like to meet the rock. Personally, it uh, it was a bit nervous going down there and second guessing everything. Uh, truth is, it went perfectly, and I've got no complaints. They sent me lots of pictures at uh, various angles, and um, yeah, uh, you know, there'd be loads of measurements and things. But even then, I was still second guessing, and I had to, to sort of design in and, and really think quite hard how I'm going to do this blind, you know. But uh, yeah, hanging off trees, hanging off walls, might be another one for this couple as well, so I understand. And there may be a pussycat job involved in this as well. She's running a cack sentry, and it'd be nice to have a sign that looks like a pussycat. A wild one, because they're taking on wild cats. That's wild, isn't it? Anyway, there you are. It was 2020, because that's when I made the dragon. But uh, didn't get installed till 2021. So, look, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I'll be uh, on some other projects very shortly. And, uh, yeah, just keep watching this space. Thank you now. Stay safe.